Despite the fact that record-setting rain had drenched several states in the south, and there's no reprieve in the near future, I still decided to visit some national sites in Arkansas after spending some time with my dad in Houston. I woke up off into a wet tent and hiked on flooded trails, but still had a great time as I worked my way to Hot Springs National Park. This is Buffalo National River. First was a stop at Big Bluff. Lunch at Subway, barbecue at the Oasis, then one of the best camping sites I've ever enjoyed. After a frigid morning, I visited Pea Ridge National Military Park in the northwest corner of the state. From Pea Ridge, I traveled about 90 miles south to Fort Smith National Historic Site. Then after enjoying a beautiful drive through much of Arkansas, I arrived at Hot Springs National Park. The smallest of our 59 national parks measures in at 5,550 acres. And unlike the other national parks that major on undeveloped nature, Hot Springs borders a city that made an industry out of tapping and dispensing the mineral rich waters. 47 thermal springs flow on the southwestern slope of Hot Springs Mountain, producing over 70,000 gallons of water. While there are still few natural springs to be found, most of the springs were covered, piped, and diverted into the Central Avenue bathhouses. On Bathhouse Row, the buildings are named Fordyce, where the visitor center is located, and Buckstaff, and Ozark, and Quapaw. Many of the original amenities that were enjoyed by pilgrims to Hot Springs are preserved in their original form and location. A walk through these historic fixtures gives the modern observer a feel of how it was in yesteryear when thousands would flock to the town in hopes of physical healing. And just before I left, I was able to check out some of these trails and the local scenery. <laughs> 